Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can quickly, easily and cheaply refurbish a brake caliper on your car. First of all you need to jack up your car and then support it on axle stands. There are plenty of other videos about this on YouTube so I'm not going to cover the, uh, the procedure for doing that. We're going to look straight at the brake caliper. We're now going to remove the caliper from the vehicle and on this car, like on most cars, to do that you only have a bolt at the top and a bolt at the bottom. In this case they are removed with an allen key. Depending on the amount of wear on your brake discs and if there's a lip on the outside edge here you may need to remove the brake pads too at this point however on this car I've just checked and the whole caliper assembly including the brake discs will come off in one go. So here we have complete access to the brake caliper. I'm now going to remove the pads and store them to one side so that they don't get contaminated with brake fluid. We're now going to remove the piston from the cylinder and there are different ways of doing that. You can put compressed air onto the bleed point here. However, in my mind, the easiest way to do this is to use the brake fluid itself. So I've got a beautiful assistant inside the car, Rossella, my wife, and I'm going to ask her to pump the brakes. And then as she does that, this piston is going to be pushed out of the cylinder by the brake fluid. So brake, please. There we go. It's moving. Just keep pumping the brake. So Rossella is continuing to pump the brake. So she's braking and then releasing and then braking again. And at a certain point, the piston will reach the end of its travel and then we'll get a gush of brake fluid and that will be the job done. All stop. There we go, so we've now got fluid coming out and if I just grab the piston, there we go, it doesn't get much easier than that. And you can buy special tools here to clamp the, uh, the brake line, however you can also just use a piece of cardboard and a standard set of mole grips, so that's what I'm going to do. And there you go, you can clamp off the brake line and that avoids excess brake fluid being lost through what is now an open hole. So we now have an external seal which we will remove. And once we've removed that outer seal, the gator, then we need to clean up this mating area here and we'll make sure that that's ready for the new seal to go on at a later stage. Now if we look inside the brake caliper you can see just how simple they are. You've got the main pressure port down here which is where the hydraulic the brake fluid enters via the brake pipe and you have a tiny little port down here for the bleed point on the caliper and then that's it it's just a cylinder and the only other thing that we have in here is this very clever square profile seal. The piston sits inside the cylinder and of course is a smaller diameter than the cylinder and that difference in diameter is made up by the square profile seal. Now the clever part is that when you release your brakes the pressure is released and the deformation of this square profile seal as that reseats itself into its original position it's that which then releases the brakes and removes the pressure of the brake pads from the brake discs and that's how you shouldn't have your brakes squealing or providing resistance when you're not braking and that's true on the other side of this vehicle however on this side they were seized and this is why we're doing this job because the piston was actually getting seized in this area and it wasn't releasing properly. We're now going to remove the square profile seal and to do that I'm going to use a small flat blade screwdriver. Uh, this is quite easy to do but just make sure that you don't score any of the surfaces around here because if you do then you could cause a leak. So just be gentle 
and there you go you can remove the square profile seal we'll now get some new hydraulic fluid clean out the inside of the cylinder and we'll get some uh, lint free cloth and we'll get rid of any small bits of debris and we'll, we'll clean everything up and make sure this is nice and tidy before we start putting it back together I've cleaned out the inside of the cylinder on the caliper and as you can see it's in really good condition bear in mind this car is 19 years old and it has lived its life in England in lots of rain and uh, salty road surfaces so it's a very corrosive environment you can see from the outside of the caliper it's it's not in great condition but that doesn't matter this is a uh, a cast component the outside was never nice looking to begin with that's not important what is important is the milled cylinder section and that's still in really good order what normally happens with calipers and it's true in this case too is that this the piston comes out of the nice oily environment and into the horrible salty wet environment outside and they tend to get pitting corrosion on them and that's why they'll get stuck but the good thing is you can buy a replacement piston so this is a new piston it comes with new seals and also a couple of uh, packs of grease and some other bits and bobs to get you uh, back in perfect working order so this was around about $20 so a hell of a lot cheaper than a new caliper and also it's a shame to be throwing things away that are still good you know there's nothing wrong with this so it's a shame to throw that in the bin so we're, that's what we're going to do today we're going to replace these seals and the piston and then we're going to put it back together and we'll be ready to rock and roll inside the packet we have two little packs of lubricant one says do not use on parts in contact with brake fluid so we won't and the other one says compatible with brake fluid so we're going to use this lubricant to lubricate the internal surface and also the square profile seal and then we'll replace that and then we'll move on to the next stage so as I'm putting this seal in I'm trying not to touch the outside the caliper too much where there's still dirt there we are that was very easy so that's back in position and we're now ready for either the other seal or the piston now I'm going to experiment a little bit see which way round is easier before telling you which you should do next I've done some experimenting to save you some hassle and this is the easiest way that I've found if you get the piston and the new seal slide the seal on that way then if you bring the seal forward that engages itself in the slot there and that's now ready to fit and I'm hoping this will go on quite easily uh, with this seal already fitted and it'll just be a case of engaging this part of the seal onto the chamfered edge before I insert the piston I'm just going to open the bleed points here and that will avoid me from forcing air up the brake line towards the servo I'm now going to use some more of this correct lubricant on the piston and just around the edges there where it's going to meet the seal that we, the square profile seal, we inserted earlier. There we are. And now I need to insert the piston into the cylinder and push it in nice and square. Now I need two hands for this, so I'm going to have to come back to you in a minute. That was actually really easy to get in. Um, and if I get this hammer, I'm trying to film here at the same time, so I do apologise. But yeah, if I push, there you go. There we are, really easy as long as it goes in square. And now all I have to do is engage this seal onto the outer edge of the cylinder.
I can't film this and do it at the same time but just to explain to you what I am doing I've got a large flat blade screwdriver and I'm starting at the most difficult part underneath here which is kind of hidden away and I'm pushing the seal in this direction onto the chamfered edge but like I say I'm starting at the most difficult part down here and then that will leave me this section that I'll hopefully just be able to pop on at the end. Okay so I've got the seal on all the way round apart from this last section and I really would love to show you this going on. It would be very satisfying to film that but I really do need two hands so I'll come back to you in a moment when it's on but it's really quite easy to do it this way. Okay that's the new piston in position and the new seals have been fitted. It was actually really quite easy to do, it only took about 10 minutes and this kit also comes with brand new grommets and caps so I'm just going to pop out the fasteners here just remove them and then with the screwdriver I'm going to remove the old grommets and put the new ones in you can actually use a flat blade screwdriver just to pull that into position like that and then we can replace this we have a nice new cap there for afterwards perfect before we refit the caliper to the car I think it's a good idea to bleed the brakes now while we can move it into any position we want we can turn it upright like this we saw the internal construction before and by doing this the air inside the cylinder will naturally want to come out of the bleed at the top so I'm just opening the bleed there I've also placed the old piston inside here so the new piston will bottom out against that and it won't have anywhere to go that'll build up pressure and then we can bleed the brakes but I'll now get my beautiful assistant Rossella to press the brake. If you can uh, brake please Ro. going to open the bleed valve once more to make sure it is free of air yes that's air free oil so the brakes are bled thank you we now have a refurbished caliper and I'm going to refit it which is the reverse of the removal I'm now going to degrease the brake and get rid of some of this oil so it's not so smoky once I start to brake and use the car after I put it all back together. And I'm going to check the brakes, make sure that they're not spongy, which would indicate air in the system. And yeah, I'm going to refit the wheel and we now have a refurbished brake caliper. If you have any comments or suggestions, then leave them below this video. I look forward to reading those. And before you leave, check out my other videos. I make videos on all kinds of different subjects. And if you like what you see, then subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, don't forget, love life. One small, just to see if there's any more small air bubbles. No, that's clean oil, so the blakes are bred. If you have any comments or suggestions, then leave them below the video. I look forward to... If you have any comments or suggestions then leave them below the video, I look forward to reading those and 